Hey guys, happy holidays and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing 25 days of Christmas and each day is going to be something new. It's going to be anywhere from gift guides to makeup tutorials to recipes to who knows what. And so if you want to see it, please like, please subscribe and I will put a playlist up eventually and it'll have all of it. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about what to buy for a baby because buying for a baby is one of the most difficult things to buy for honestly because there's not really much you can buy for them that they're going to like. So I've come up with a list of stuff that I have used for my kids. So I'm buying for an 8 month old for Christmas this year so I have experience with it and I've already wrapped my present so I can't really show you what I got but I did go ahead and compile a list of things that I think that are great to get for anyone or any baby really for Christmas. So I have separated it between zero to six months and then six months to 12 months basically and then 12 months on. So we're gonna go ahead and start and as, as I'm talking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and add pictures to the screen and it'll kind of show you and I will link the website below so that you can go ahead and click on it and see where I found it. I don't have prices, well I have prices on a few of them, but there are a, quite a variety of different options, so feel free to look at other places, but I just saw one and I just picked it and I thought it was good. So let's start out with zero to six months. So honestly, at this point, babies don't need much. Uh, they just need what their parents basically bought them. So unless you want to buy for when they grow up, which is completely possible, you could completely do that. Um, but if you don't want to do it that way, you could buy for their current age. But the problem is, is they don't like a lot. They don't do a lot. So things to buy for a baby at from zero to six months, what I would recommend is buying things that are going to more help the parent. So things along the lines of clothes, socks, they don't need shoes. So bottles, diapers, wipes. If you're going to do clothes, for instance, I recommend because it is probably going to be cold. I would recommend buying things like zip up footy pajamas. Not the button ones because the button ones suck. Okay, I know. Because I have, like I said, I have an eight month old son and it sucks so bad when you're, when they're wiggling around and you're trying to button them in. Zip up is the way to go. So definitely find zip up footy pajamas. I think they're some of the best and they have them for pretty good prices everywhere. Uh, definitely do bottles, diapers, wipes. That definitely helps the parents out. It makes everything easier for them. And, I mean, the babies don't need much at this point anyway. So, it is helpful to buy things along that line. So, if you're going to buy for a baby, I recommend buying things like a bumbo seat. Buying play mats, walkers, swings, anything that the parent needs. I recommend doing something like that. Some of those play activities are always a good idea. The problem is, is they don't stay in them for very long. So I realized with, so with my daughter, my first one, I decided that I was going to go ahead and buy all this equipment. What I found is they only use it for a month or two. So I thought it was a waste of money, but some parents love it. And if you think that they'll love it, I think that that's great because the kids do like it, but honestly, they don't use it for very long. So me personally, I would... If someone bought it for me, I'd be super excited, but I would have never bought it myself. So that is something you should look at, is if you want to buy something the parents probably wouldn't buy themselves, that's always a great option. Other things to buy for a baby are things like those squishy books, the ones that where you can kind of, uh, like, they have the rustling papers and they make noises and stuff. Those are always great. My son loved his little squishy book that he had. He loved it to the point that he lost it when we were at his store and I was so upset, but he has other ones. But things that they can chew on and they can rustle around with their hands, always a great option and they'll always grow into it. Teething rings are easy to get too. I think those are great. And noisy toys, like little handheld things that they can hold and they can punch. Those are great for babies that are in that younger age and they can grow into. So as they get older, they'll also like those too. I recommend doing those especially. Um, the other things that are great are those little handheld, I can't remember the name of them, but I'll put a picture up. But they have like little holes in it that they can grip onto and they're little toys and they rattle and stuff. Those are always great for kids because, well for babies because 
they are easy for them to grip. Okay, so for six months plus, this is where things get a little bit easier to buy for. I think that the leapfrog pal that sings, I don't know the actual name of it, but I'll put a picture up and then, you know, of course I'll link it. Uh, that is always great. Things that also crawl across the ground and like spit out balls. There's a new one. It's a little monster and it like spits out balls as it crawls around. Those are great because about this time is when the kids are going to start or the babies are going to start crawling around. So things that are going to encourage those crawling is always a good option and things that they can kind of play with and have fun with is great as well. They also have like little balls that you can, uh, that roll around and you can uh, push on them and they make noises. Those are great. My son loves his and he has a lot of fun with it. Uh, you, he, honestly, it was one of the easiest ways to teach him how to crawl was to that ball because he would push it and then you had to chase it. And at first he would lay on the floor and like, kind of like swim on the ground. It was so cute, but he used to do that quite often and he learned how to crawl because of it. Anything that dances or sings is easy win across the board. All babies, kids love singing things, so I recommend anything that sings or dances. Okay, so for 12 months plus, see this is where things start to get, you know, you can buy a lot of options at this point because they're really starting to play with things. What I recommend is the Alphabet Train. Uh, I think it's probably VTech. Yeah, VTech. It's a sit and stand ultimate train and it's $50. I rounded up the number. I think it's like 49 or something but my daughter loves it. I bought it for her when she was about a year old and she loves it and she still loves it and she's three. So it's one of those things that can grow with them. And my son at eight months old also is starting to get into it as well. So that is an option and it is something that they can grow into. There's also an activity cube by VTech. And those are great because those are super fun. And those are fun too because it has all these little things that they can do. And it's something that they can grow into. And that is a big thing when you're buying for babies is it's stuff that the kids can grow into. The last thing I'm going to recommend and I'm always going to recommend are books. Books in general. You know, books are a great way for kids to learn things. And I think things like Llama Llama and those hard, the hardcover, not the hardcover, but like the cardboard bu books are amazing for kids because, you know, kids can never get enough books and it's one of the best things for them to have. I know I read to my daughter all the time and I think that most parents should because it is so good for them. So I say buy books and the kids will be excited about them too because they're fun. You could buy a whole bunch of books for not very expensive as well. So that's all I have for you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, please like and subscribe. I have other videos. I have other gift guides coming up here shortly. I hope I see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.